Listen here, kid. You will never have what it takes to be a part of this rich school. Well, why not? Everybody deserves a chance. Yeah, well, not you, all right? You're stupid and poor. You're so poor, it's not even funny. This guy sucks. And nobody likes you either. I may be broke now, but one day I will be a billionaire. Y'all, you hear that? I was even stupider than before. You need to take some stupid spend change, you idiot. Oh, hey, quit it. Get this through your head, kid. You aren't going anywhere in life. I never wanted to go to this stupid school anyways. Chow, what are you doing? You gonna go leave and cry now? Oh, hey! You better listen to all these people around here, including me. You will never make something out of yourself. So just give up. Oh, man, I've got to get home fast. I still have like a couple miles to go. And this storm is not letting up. Oh, man, this sucks. Haha, <laughs> that's a pretty funny post, man. <laughs> So distracted right now. Whoa, that car is driving super fast. And that old lady has no idea it's coming. Hey, lady, watch out! Watch where you're going, you broke loser! Whoa, are you okay? That man is terrible. Wow, well, come on. Let me help you to the other side of the street. Just be more careful next time, okay? That guy was not paying attention at all. No, he was not. But you were. Thank goodness. Look at you. You look very down on your luck. Here, take this. Money? No, no, I don't need your money. Oh, honey, it looks like you need it more than I do. Please take it. Thank you so much. You know, when I work hard and I do good things, I get rewarded for it. All right, you heard it here, folks. If you want to get rich, come down to Larry's Bike Shop and please help me out. Just call this number on the screen now. Man, that guy is so weird. I feel like companies like that, nothing but scams. They never work. Hey, Matt. Hey, Dad. How was your day? Ugh, long and exhausting. Man, the job I have is terrible, and it barely pays us enough. Dad, I'm worried about you. Don't worry about me. Come on, worry about yourself. You're always coming home late. You're always exhausted from work. Yeah, it's fine. As long as I can give you a good life, that's all that matters to me. Yeah, but I want you to have a good life too, Dad. What's this, one of your friends coming over? No, I don't have anyone coming over to hang out. Polly! Yeah, that is the name. Look, uh, I know I've been late with the rent a couple times, but uh... I don't want to hear it, okay? Where is my rent? I can give you half now and give you half in a couple weeks. You know how angry this makes me, huh? For that, I'm going to raise the price of your rent even more. You don't need to do that. I I'll, I'll have the money on time, I, I promise. The amount of promises that you have told me and the amount of promises that you have broken, it's too many. You have a week to have the rent situated before you are kicked out of this place and add an extra $500 on top of that. But Polly, Polly, come on. No. Uh... Dad, can he even do that? Is that part of our lease? Polly's in charge around here. He's the landlord. He can do whatever he wants. Just uh, leave me alone for a second, all right? I gotta think about this. Man, I hate seeing my dad like this. Maybe I should give that company a call after all. All right, I think this is the place. What the heck? It's completely empty. It looks like a ghost town in here. Uh, hello? Hello, is anybody here? Oh, good, a uh, customer. What would you like to buy, sir? Hi, I'm not here to buy anything, actually. I'm here because of your commercial? Oh, that stupid thing? Oh, that was all a lie. A lie? Yeah, man, I just needed help, all right? No one wanted to buy any of my bikes. So you fooled people into thinking they could get rich if they called you? That was a good idea at the time, all right? Stop judging me. Oh my goodness, do my eyes deceive me? Oh uh, great, another customer and this one looks rich. Would you like to buy something? What do you think you're doing here, Matt? Wait a minute, do you work here? Yeah, I was trying to get a job. I can't even imagine working, man. Sounds like a lame way to spend my time. Well, some people need to work for their money. They don't just get it handed to them, like some people. Chow, well, last time I checked, no billionaire has ever worked in a place like this. Obviously, you guys don't have any, like, Ferrari bikes or Porsches here, so I'm gonna go somewhere else. This place is lame. Wait, no, no. Buy anything. I'll give you the lodge. It's just anything. Oh, man. Trust me, Larry, you do not want that guy as a customer. He's nothing but a spoiled jerk. I don't have any other options. This place is run down, no one ever comes in, and... Man, I'm gonna lose this business in a couple months' time. Maybe you're going about things the wrong way. I could really use a job, and I'll work for you, and I'll make sure this shop is the best bike shop in the whole world. Seriously? You think you can do that? 
I know I can do it. As long as you give me the chance. And if you pay me. All right, don't go too overboard now, but uh, fine. You're hired. Yo, hey, is this the bike repair shop? Oh, hi, yeah, welcome in. How can I help you today? Well, I need someone to fix my motorcycle. It's not working for some reason, and I don't know why. It just makes me so angry. Whoa, hey, hey, calm down. I think I could fix this. Just needs a couple adjustments and... Hey, hey, be careful with Sheila, okay? She's the only bike I have. Don't worry, she'll be fine. I think if I just do this, this will fix it. Whoa, dude, you actually got this to work. Yeah, man, it was nothing. I thought I was gonna have to get rid of Sheila for sure, but you saved her and my life. Okay. You know, you guys should be advertising that you fix bikes more often. You know, that's actually not a bad idea. There's a lot of people that have bikes and they constantly break down and we need a good trustworthy place to go to get them fixed. I think I just found the right spot. Here you go, dude, $1,000. Wow, $1,000? Yeah, dude, you deserve it. Thanks for fixing Sheila thousand dollars oh my gosh hey larry larry oh uh, yeah what do you want i just fixed this guy's motorcycle and he just gave me a thousand dollars for it a thousand bucks oh my goodness yeah i think we need to start fixing and maybe making our own motorcycles maybe this is how we can make more money and save this business yeah, Dad. Larry said if business keeps going well, I'll actually be able to get a raise. You know, son, I'm really proud of you. You've been working super hard. I, uh, can't thank you enough. I mean, look, you even bought me these new clothes. Yeah, well, we deserve it, Dad. It's time we actually started treating ourselves a little bit. Dad, what's going on? What is Polly doing? I don't know, but I'll figure this out. Polly, what is the meaning of all this? I am tired of waiting for the rent. You guys need to leave now. Waiting for the rent? Polly, we, we paid you last month, and the rent's not even due till tomorrow. Yeah, well, I changed my mind, and I want it now. Look, you can't do this, Polly. We've lived here for years. You can't just keep raising the rent on us and now kicking us out. Dad, wait. We need to stop wasting our breath. Obvious that we're no longer welcome here, and that's fine. But, man, this is our home. Maybe we can get a new home. Maybe a better landlord that isn't a total jerk. Hey, you better watch your mouth, you stupid kid. Don't talk to my son like that. He's right. We're much better off without this stupid place. Come on, Matt. Let's get our things and let's go. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, just from simply looking around, all of these people here are interested in buying one of these brand new motorcycles. All right, and cut. Wow, Matt, you're doing a really, really great job. I just got an alert on my phone. You're number one in selling motorcycles in the world. What, are you kidding? You know, I'm gonna tell everybody on my Twitter account if they don't buy one of these bikes, they're stupid. And they better get one before it's all sold out. Wow, this is crazy. I genuinely wasn't sure if this business was gonna kick off, but it seems as though things are finally turning in my favor. What? This is all happening because of Mott? Can't let this stand. Cha hello, father. I'm gonna need more money and I'm gonna need it now. All right, Matt, what's the big deal, huh? Just keep your eyes closed, Dad. It's supposed to be a surprise. Come on, hey, don't peek. Oh, I'm nervous. I, I hate surprises. Well, you're gonna like this one. On the count of three, open your eyes. One, two, three. Open them. Well, Dad, this is our new home. Wait, wait no, no way. You're, are you serious? Yeah, Dad, I told you. The company was doing great, making good money, and I was able to buy this for us. Matt, thank you. Thank you for this surprise. This means the world. Now let's go check it out. Whoa, what was that? Was that the news helicopter? Ladies and gentlemen, this just ended. There is a brand new company competing against Matt's motorcycles, Trent's motorcycles, and they are selling expensive exclusive bikes and are selling quickly. The heck? Oh, I can't believe this. Child, we'll start believing it, buddy. Trent, did you seriously start a business just to compete against me? Look at this sick motorcycle, man. Bet you don't have anything like this. Yeah, you're right. I don't have anything like that. It's really flashy and, and looks insanely expensive. Exactly. That's kind of the point of having an expensive motorcycle, all right? Get a load of this guy. Yeah, well, I'm going to keep making motorcycles that are affordable and reliable. I just can't believe you would stoop so low. Well, actually, I can believe it. Yeah, we'll keep believing, buddy, because you can kiss your stupid bike shop goodbye. What the heck is going on? Why is the place completely empty? No one's gonna wanna buy us stupid bikes anymore now that that new company's up and running. Hey, uh, so I know this is bad timing and all. Am I still getting paid? Not now! All right, that's bad timing. I'm out of here. Oh, Matt. Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't want you to see me this way. Larry, dude, what is going on? Why are you crying? 
as soon as that new business opened up, all of our customers, all of our numbers, they went out the window. What are we gonna do now, huh? We just have to keep going, Larry. We need to make an even better motorcycle than Trent is. Trent's all about flashy colors and expensive parts. We need to change our mindset, get people excited about this new bike. Yeah, I don't know about that. There's a bike show coming up and whoever wins that, oh boy. The winner of that gets a billion dollars billion dollars oh my gosh that's so much money yeah i know and if trent wins that not only is he gonna get the billion dollars but the entire city is gonna think his bikes are better than ours man i've gotta say this new bike is awesome oh whoa i'm getting a call hey larry what's up hey how's the new bike going Man, this thing is awesome. She's beautiful. She drives super fast. I know this bike is going to turn heads. Trust me. Y'all totally going to win that bike show, man. It's going to be a breeze. Ah! Hey! Hey, idiot, you hear me, huh? You got my clothes all wet. Like that stupid idiot thinks he can just do what he wants, huh? That's a pretty nice bike he has there. Larry, this new bike is incredible. I know we're going to win that bike show for sure. Yeah, we are. Now let's go celebrate. Yeah, you know what? I think we deserve to celebrate a little bit. Better take a picture of that bike. You think you're gonna win that bike show, huh? We'll see about that. Oh man, I hate that I have to walk by Trent's bike shop every time I go home. What the heck's going on? There's a whole lot of people here today. Let's see what's happening. Whoa, what the? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is my new bike model, exclusive to the bike show. It looks just like my bike. Hey, Trent, really nice new bike, dude. Looks a whole lot like mine. Yeah, right, buddy. This is purely my idea. Can't believe you're gonna try to steal it from me. I am not a liar. Trent, you are a fraud. This is just like my bike. You're literally taking my idea. I don't know what you're talking about. Now that we're away from the crowd, this is what happens when you decide to mess with me. You have no idea what happens when you mess with me. I'm not standing for this, and I'm going to win that bike show one way or another. You'll see. Oh, what am I gonna do now? Got to beat Trent at the bike show, but how? Matt, what's wrong? Hate to say it, buddy, but you look terrible. That rich jerk Trent is taking my latest bike idea. He basically stole my whole prototype. Our bikes look almost exactly the same, and I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I really wanted to win that bike show, but now once again, she seems like it's out of reach. Come with me outside. Look at this. Look at the clothes we have on. We have all of these things now, all because you believed that you could do it. I just don't know how we're gonna keep it now if I don't win that bike show. Well, I believe in you and you should not give up. You need to prove to yourself and to everyone what you can do. And I know you'll win that bike show. Thanks, Dad. I just have to figure out how. But I think I just got an idea. Larry? Hey, Larry! Yeah, yeah, what now? I'm not sleeping. I just got a brilliant idea. We need to make some changes to the bike if we're gonna win that bike show. Come on, let's get this over with already. Just say I won. Yeah, sorry, Trent. Can't do that. Gotta wait for this other kid to show up first. Chow, like he's ever gonna show up. He probably he's probably too scared now. I'm here. I'm here. What is that? Oh, this? This is my brand new motorcycle. Whoa, look at this guy, huh? Beautiful color. Them tires are sick. Man, this is one bike, let me tell you. Chow, it's nothing compared to my bike. Well, look at this. Oh, we're doing the test run now, huh? Let's see how fast your bike can go from zero to 60. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not gonna let some poor stupid loser beat me. Well, Trent, it's pretty clear your bike sucks. All right, what about your bike, huh? Let's see how fast this thing goes. Watch this. Oh, that was a new world record. Wait, really? Yeah, it looks like you just made the world's best motorcycle. And here's your billion dollar prize. I guess working hard really does pay off. That's right, the winner of the lottery will receive five billion dollars. Man, five billion, that's massive. I think I'm gonna win it too. Yeah, right. I'm gonna win All it. All right, and the numbers are three, six, one. Oh, halfway there and I got those numbers. Two. Seven, four. Those are all my numbers, just one left. And the last number for the $5 billion prize is two. Dang it, I was so close. Wait, I won. Yes, I knew I would. Ha, huh, sucks to suck, loser. Wait, that was just all luck. I was meant to win, unlike you. I don't need a lottery to be a billionaire. Oh, really? Then I guess you don't need a car either. Huh. What the 
the heck? Why would you do that? Because I'm rich now. You'll never be rich. You know what? I'm going to make you eat those words. Uh, yeah? We'll see about that. Whoa, whoa, what the heck are you doing? This is my home. Yeah, look, it used to be your home, okay? If you could call it that, it was trash. You can't just go around bulldozing people's homes. Yes, I can. Some rich guy named Luke paid me about a million dollars to destroy the entire block. Wow, Luke's at it again, huh? Paid you a million bucks just to- Yeah, and this place looks so sad. I figured I'd start with this first. Hey, Dennis, my buddy. Oh, Luke. Thanks again for already getting started. Man, the place looks better already, huh? Look, what do you mean getting started? What are you guys doing here? Well, now I can build a new helicopter hangar and put a couple more in here. I can see it now. The biggest helicopter hangar in the city. It'll be all for me. And this, sir, is for you. Uh, yeah, pleasure doing business, Mr. Luke. If anything else you need. Luke, why would you do that? Out of all the places you could have put your helicopter hangar, you chose my home. Yeah, so what? You're just jealous that I'm rich and I can do whatever I want. Jealous of you? Just shut up. This is private property now. You don't belong here. Get out. Man, this storm's getting pretty bad. I'm gonna need to find a spot to shelter from it. This looks like it'll work. Oh, yeah, okay. That's a whole lot better. Hey, what are you doing to my hangar? Come on, get out of here. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I just came in to dry myself off a bit. It's really Let going... Let me tell you, there's no good coming from robbing this place, okay? I ain't got no no, 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 no. I'm not here to rob it. I just needed a spot to hunker down. My home got destroyed. Well, that's unfortunate. But you can't make your home here. Got it? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand. Whoa, is, is this a helicopter hangar? Yeah, good observation, genius. Man, I always wanted to make helicopters. Yeah, that was my dream too. Old Reliable here has been my first helicopter I ever built. She doesn't fly anymore, but I still love her just the same. Well, how about this? If you let me stay here, I'll fix the helicopter. You fix Old Reliable? <laughs> yeah, right, I'd like to see you try. Alrighty, I think she's all done, sir. Well, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. Here, this for you. Thousand bucks. What? Wow. I thought you were just going to give me a place to stay. I really appreciate it. You know, if you're interested in some more work and you really want to build your own helicopter, I could give you some help. Why don't you start up some sketches and, uh, and we'll see if we can make some money out of this thing. Man, that was some good luck coming across Glenn. I need to keep on the grind and make some more money, and I think this job will get me All there. All right, whoever works here, I need you to stop what you're doing and help me immediately, okay? I want the most expensive items in this store, and hey, you. Uh, hey, hey, Luke, how's it going? What are you doing here? I know you can't afford to buy anything in this place. Yeah, I, I work here. I was fortunate enough to get a job. <laughs> Really? You got a little job? That's so precious. Now pick out the expensive clothes for me, you poor loser. Look, you're only a billionaire because you got lucky. I'm going to get there through hard work and determination. Which is stupid, huh? We'll see how far your hard work gets you now. I need a manager over here. Hello? Hello, sir. What seems to be the problem? I'll pay you a million dollars to fire this idiot. Deal. Walter, you're done. He's paying you to fire me? Sounds like it. Get out. Oh, see hard work. Bye, loser. What on earth is this thing? Glenn, this is my first model. What do you think? You call this a helicopter model? <laughs> Boy, you must be crazy. I know it looks a little different. We should test it out. All right, all right. Let's give it a shot. Well, you gonna put this thing in the air or what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the heck? What darnation? That thing blew up. I thought I did the maths right. Well, that thing is definitely toasted. Yeah, I'm not sure where I went wrong. Yeah, you just been off on your math or something a little bit. Oh, man, you look really disappointed. Look, I'll help you make another one, okay? Really? Oh, that would be awesome. Now, let's build us a new model. All right, the model worked. Now it's time to fly a real helicopter. You ready? I think so. Let's do this. It's working! It's working, Glenn! All right, just take it nice and easy around the city. It's incredible! She's flying like a butte! All right! Now come on back to the hangar. Land it nice and easy now. Walter, I'd like you to meet someone. This is Todd. How you doing there, Walter? It's nice to meet you. Glenn said a lot of good things about you. I'm Todd, and I buy a lot of my helicopters from Glenn here. Yeah, him and I go way back. I told him about what you were doing here. He seemed pretty impressed. I too came from nothing, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you turn into. So here's $100,000. Call it my first deposit on the next helicopter you built. Wow, sir, I really appreciate it. And yeah, I will make sure to make this the best helicopter out there. All right now, take care. Glenn, this is amazing. Yeah, look at you. I gotta admit your talent and hard work is paying off. It feels good being back in business again. You know, with this kind of momentum, I think we're gonna be billionaires in no time.
45, 55, 65 thousand dollars. Ha <laughs> ha, excellent. Man, it feels so good to be rich. Wait, what is that? Driver, stop the car. The heck is that? No, that's Walter. What's he doing in a helicopter? I know he can't afford it. Driver, follow that helicopter. Don't lose him. What the heck is this? Did you hear it has LED lights inside? The thing's so cool. Your helicopters are so cool. Here you go, sir. I'd like to buy like 27. Wow, thank you so much, sir. I'm glad you like them. We put a lot of hard work into them. I can't believe that. We've officially earned over $5 million now. We're getting close to our goal. We sure are, Glenn. This hard work is paying off. What is the meaning of all of this? Hi, Luke. Um, we're making helicopters. And people are actually buying them? Yeah, they are. They seem to be quite a hit. Yeah? Well, I deserve a cut of this. A, a, a cut? Look, you haven't done anything. I gave you the inspiration for the idea since I had the helicopter first. That's so ridiculous. And I don't have time for it. We have customers to attend to. Look at this stupid thing. It's so dumb. Walter's company is going to fail. Mark my words. Walter, I'm extremely impressed with you. Getting yourself a new home, working hard for the company, and I'll admit, you've kind of re-inspired me. The two of us have come a long way. Thanks, Glenn. I really appreciate it. If it wasn't for you giving me a chance, there's no way that I'd be able to get this new home. Once we hit that goal of becoming billionaires, I really want to utilize that moment to give back to the community. Well, that's awesome. I really like the sound of that. Who knew that poor kid that was hiding in my hangar would turn out to be such a great person? I really appreciate it, man, but it's just hard work, and you played a big role in this. No, you are a great person. I really appreciate you working with me. I really want to repay your kindness. Come on over to the backyard. I have a surprise for you. Oh my gosh, you, you fixed the old reliable. Oh, she looks better than the day I made her. It's the least I could do, Glenn. You really helped me turn my life around. And you turned this old bird around, too. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Thank you so much. That's it. I've had enough of this. I gave you my down payment months ago, and I still haven't received delivery. Uh, really sorry, sir. You'll get your helicopter soon, though. You've been telling me I'd get my helicopter soon, a week after I gave the down payment. And I heard there's another spot in town that makes great helicopters and delivers on time. No, wait, please. Don't go to that place. It sucks. Mine is way cooler and better. It's not about being cool. It's about product, efficiency, and delivery. And you don't have it. Whatever. Then you don't deserve one of my helicopters. Uh, sir, what are we going to do now? There's nobody coming in and buying the helicopters and those that do want refunds because they're not getting them. That idiot Walter is stealing all of our business. I think we just need to make helicopters. I think you just need to shut up, okay? Get a hold of yourself, loser. I have a plan, Mitchell. Don't worry your little dumb head about it. You see this helicopter? I need you to get to work. But, uh, I don't know how to make helicopters. Watch a YouTube video, idiot. Uh, okay. It's time to get to work. It's time for my payback. Ha ha ha. All right, Glenn, who are we working with today? No one. No one? That's odd, we've been jam-packed. Yeah, well, no one's coming to us for their helicopters anymore. Everyone's going over to Luke's hangar. Luke's hangar? I need to check this out. Just calm down, everybody, okay? Form a line. Hey, hey, Luke, you stole that design. That's mine. Yeah, totally did. Painted it gold and put seat warmers in it. Did you see the LED lights? Dude, you can't just steal design. Well, I already did. And there's nothing you can do about it. My helicopter is way cooler than yours. And once I show it off to the mayor, I'm going to win the $5 billion prize. See about that. No, that's right. Go away. No poor losers allowed. Eh, I don't know, Walter. Are you sure about this? Making a whole new helicopter? These new parts cost a lot of money. And on top of that, with the new factory, but I'm confident that if we make the best product, we can really do this. And in almost all our money. <laughs> well, I think it's worth the risk. Plus, I think we should show that idiot Luke what a real helicopter looks like. It's risky, but this is the type of move we need to make if we want to become billionaires. Then what are we doing waiting around here for? Oh, let's get this thing started. Oh, wait. Well, what do you think? I think she's prettier than old reliable. Make sure you don't tell her that. <laughs> I think this thing has a chance to change the game, Glenn, and I think the mayor will agree. Uh, hey boss, I, I think we might have an issue. There's no way Mitchell was right. He's an idiot. There's no way. I'm gonna puke this thing so cool. What the heck? How did he do this? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter anyways. Thanks for all the hard work, Walter. Oh, I think it's time to upgrade my helicopter. What the heck? Well, look at what we found here, Walter. Come on, get out of here. Get, get on, get. Oh, stay away from me, crazy man. No thief's gonna steal our helicopter, not today. 
I can't believe he got away. That's all right, Glenn. Don't worry about it. Just because he got pictures doesn't mean that he's going to be able to make it. Yeah, I guess that's right. A helicopter's more than just looks and pretty lots and stupid stuff. It's about the inside. As long as that works, we'll be golden. I just wish I hit him with that wrench, though. Wow, look, I can't believe it. This leather seat is so, so fancy. Yeah, Mr. Mayor, you're gonna love it. Oh, too little, too late, loser. The Mr. Mayor already loves my helicopter. Yeah, I think, Luke, you made the best helicopter I've ever seen. It's amazing. Walter, you can kiss your business goodbye. Oh, is that right? I wonder, Mr. Mayor, does that helicopter even work? But of course it does, idiot. So insulting. Look at this. Oh, see? Hydraulic lift. You're nothing compared to... What? No! No, how'd that happen? Wow, this is a major disappointment, Luke. You almost killed me. No! I'm sorry, I just cannot invest in something as dangerous as this. Volta, if you don't mind, could I check out your helicopter? Mr. Mayor? Of course. I'd be more than happy to show you. So... What'd you think? Wow, and it doesn't explode like it looks. Amazing, I love it. I think I'm going to give you the $5 billion investment into your company so you can build more helicopters just like this one. Wow, Mr. Mayor, I really appreciate it. And I'm gonna use this money to give back to the people. It's done, I have a home now. Man, this took a lot of work, but it all paid off at the end. And finally not be homeless. Ah! Who was that? Get out of our neighborhood! What's the meaning of this, guys? This is my house! No, it is not! Yeah, it is. I built it fair and square. This is a rich neighborhood, and poor houses aren't allowed here! Yeah, no poor stupid shacks around here! No, 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 no! <laughs> and the bulldozer strikes again! What is the matter with you guys? You guys just can't do this! What stupid rich! We can do whatever we want! Money isn't everything, guys. And if you think that's the case, then that's just sad you'll see you'll all see i'm gonna make you guys eat your words why do people think they can just treat anyone how they want now i only have five dollars with no house i gotta figure out a way to get out of this whoa what's going on over there why <laughs> that's right everybody all the poor people in this town need to leave immediately what do they think they're doing hey What's the meaning of all of this? You're the guy that destroyed my home. And you're the reason all this started. This is now a rich people only city. You better stop packing and hitting the road now. Because in a few days, all of this will be gone. Wait, my best friend, Jesse. He lives in the poorest neighborhood in the city. I gotta get him out of there. Jesse. Oh man, there he is. Hey, are you all right? No, I'm not okay. They just kicked everybody out of our homes. Yeah, man, I know. I can't believe the city's doing this. How are they getting away with all this? How can you kick people out of their homes? I've lived here for years. And all of this just because some rich people want it all to themselves? Don't worry, man, all right? We'll find a way around this, I promise. We just gotta keep our heads up. Keep my head up? How am I supposed to do that? This home was the last thing I had. It reminded me of my parents, and now I'm gonna lose it too. I'm not gonna let that happen, okay? We just gotta push past it. So what are you gonna do? All of this seems pretty hopeless. I'm gonna get rich. You're gonna get rich? But how? Oh, great. Looks like we got more poor houses for me to destroy. <laughs> You're not gonna destroy anything yet. Excuse me? You broke idiot telling me what to do? These are people's homes. I don't care what your agenda is. It's not the right thing to do. Well, you're too late. I'm taking these homes. Man, even though my house got destroyed, at least I still own this land. Maybe I can put it down for sale. And then I'm gonna make something from it. Well, this spot looks promising. I think this will be mine. You there, do you know who owns this land? Uh, yeah, it's me. <laughs> you own this land? That's quite a joke. Yeah, and why is that? What's so funny about it? A poor person owning land in a rich neighborhood, it doesn't make any sense. Well, sorry to tell you, but it's true. And if you don't like it, then you can go somewhere else. No, 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 stop, wait. I didn't say I didn't like it. This actually would be a great spot for a new walk-in closet. A walk-in closet? You're thinking a little small, don't you think? I mean, look at all this land. Maybe this could be a good place for like a mansion or something. Well, I could use a third vacation home to get away from my other vacation homes. Well, if you're thinking about it too much, then I got 10 other people that want to buy it, so I'll just go to one- No, no, stop, stop. I want it and I want it now. Here, take some money. Thank you so much. You know, you're quite good at this. Maybe if you want Paul, you could be in real estate oh you know what maybe i will be oh no something else happening 
what are all these people doing here? All right, here you go. Here's a train ticket. Off, off. Here you go. Just cheerio. Bye, bye. Hey, uh, hey, you. What's going on over here? Why is everyone lined up? Well, this is where everyone that's getting kicked out of town's going. They're giving us train tickets and shipping us off. What, and you guys are just allowing this to happen? The city's your home. Yeah, but without money, there's nothing we can do. I mean, look at all these people. There might not be as many rich people in this town. They got all the money, which means they got all the power. Yeah, and that's just wrong. Well, don't worry, all right? You guys should just hold on a little bit longer. Don't leave yet. I promise I'm going to fix all of this. Don't leave. Well, where are we supposed to go? All of us have nothing left now. Well, that's going to change soon. I'll make sure of it. Man, I've been making a lot of money now that I've been doing real estate. Hey, man, so, like, can I get the house or what? Yeah, of course. You already signed all the paperwork and everything. Yeah, man, sweet. I want to build just, just a bunch of pools. I love swimming so much. Here you go. Here's some money. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah! Stop making those pools! Oh, Greg, there you are. Thank you so much for meeting me here. No problem, Spencer, but what am I doing here? Remember the other day when I said that I'm going to fix all of this? Well, it starts now. I've been doing real estate, and and these houses here are available. I'm giving this to you, for you and your family to stay in. What do you mean you're giving us this house? Yeah, seriously, I am. I just want to help out. I grew up in this city, too, and no one should have to be thrown out of it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you poor people doing here, huh? You don't belong here. Actually, we do. I bought this mansion, and now this man right here has a new home. So this is your big plan, huh? Buying up all the mansions? and just giving them to poor people? It's not going to just stop there. I'm not going to let you get away with this. This city is for rich people only now. And all these poor people will get kicked out one way or another. Spencer, you're doing an incredible thing. Getting us new homes, you're changing lives. That's what this is all about. I'm just glad that I can make a difference. Well, you certainly made a difference for me and my family. Thank you. Thank you so much again. Of course. Just enjoy. Hey, Spencer, selling another home? Yeah, I just got done with it, actually. Another family's safe. You know, I'm so proud of you, man. If only I had a guy like you to save my home. Well, actually, good news. Thanks to the number of houses I've sold, I think I have more than enough money to buy your house back. Wait, really? This isn't a joke, is it? No, and plus, uh, we can even renovate it. It's gonna be so sick. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. My parents would be super happy to see it. You're one of my best friends, and I'm willing to do anything that's going to make all of this right. I know the agent who runs that property, so I'll get in touch with them, and I'll reach you when I have an answer. As you can see, Spencer, they're building brand new luxury apartments all over the city. And this is just the first block. Yeah, it's great and all, but where are the other homes at? Other homes? Why would you want to look at other homes when you could live in one of these? Well, my best friend lived in one of the houses in this neighborhood. And I'm looking for it. Where is it? I have no idea what you're talking about. These are all the available homes here in this neighborhood. Wait, what? No. There was a building right over here in... Oh, that building. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was condemned and torn down like a couple days ago. How, how did this happen? Because the bulldozer came into town and took it down. <laughs> you had no right to destroy this home. The building was falling apart. It was an eyesore. No, oh, just... <laughs> this is... This can't be happening. I've known Jesse ever since I was a kid. Now his house is gone. Oh, man. I knew it. There he is. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. I'm really sorry for letting you guys down. Hey, uh, Jesse. Sounds like you've heard, huh? I went by earlier just to get a look at it one more time. They already tore the house down. Man, listen, uh, I'm so sorry, but you shouldn't be blaming yourself for this. It's not your fault. How is it not my fault? My parents told me to keep that house. Life happens, okay? And things just don't go according to plan. We can make this right again, okay? I promise. Well, it's not just me that's struggling. Every poor person in this city is. This is just such a big problem. The two of us can't do this alone. Maybe we could just go to my apartment and we'll figure it all out, all right? Let's go. Hey, Jesse, come here. There's something you need to see on the TV. I, the mayor, have a special announcement. We're going to be selling the entire city. What? That's right. I'm actually going to retire and move to Ohio. It was fun being your mayor while it lasted. We'll be holding an auction so that someone can buy the city in my place. That's how I'm going to save the entire town. I've been making a lot of money with this real estate. If I can buy the city, then I can solve all of our problems all at once. And selling houses non-stop, left to right. I need enough money for the city, otherwise all of us are going to be doomed. I don't think I have enough at all, though. This mansion right here is the final sale of the day, and hopefully this will put me where I need to be. 
All righty, bulldozer, do your thing. Oh, yeah, let's go. This was not your property. You can't just destroy any building you want. Rich people rule this city now. And now there's no mayor. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Well, I'm going to buy this city. And I'm going to make sure people like you can't have any control over it. <laughs> you? buy the city don't make me laugh too hard i just had a sub for lunch i'm being serious there's no way you can have enough money to buy this city it's millions of dollars now if you'll excuse me i gotta go tell my rich friends what a joke you are this guy's the biggest jerk of the century but i'm not gonna let that stop me i really hope i have enough money for this auction because a lot of lives are counting on it all right, everybody, settle down, settle down. It's time for the auction. Now you will all bid to see who is going to buy the city. Now let's start the bidding at a million Robux. I got a million right here. All right, there's a million right there. Oh, I got two million. Oh, wow, okay, two million from the gentleman yelling in the corner. Three. So you can, okay, fine, three. Well, I bid a hundred million Robux. Whoa, that was quite a jump. One hundred million Robux. Does anybody have a counter? No, I ain't got that much money. Oh, it's too high. Looks like there's no competition, so going once, going twice. It's the mayor. Oh, Billy. Hello, old friend. I got a bid. One billion Robux. One billion? How? Oh, well, I can't say no to a billion Robux unless you can counter. I uh, can't. Well, then it looks as though the city is going to Billy. Congratulations, the city's yours. Ha ha ha, excellent. Move out of the way, idiot. Ah! Now this town will belong to me. Billy the Bulldozer. We'll give you the keys in a couple days, and then the city will be yours. I can't believe he actually did that. Billion dollars? I feel like I let everyone down. I saw what happened on TV. I don't know how that happened. How was that guy a billionaire? I don't know. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. He just comes out with a billion Robux in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing we can do now. We've lived our whole lives here, and I guess it's just time to say goodbye. Hey, before we go, let's go just do one more last walk around the neighborhood, huh? Yeah, okay. Just kind of like old times. Hey, you remember that playground right there? You and I used to beg my parents to bring us here all the time. They'd eventually cave in, and there were days we almost lived here. That's why this is just... Uh, it sucks. It's not the homes or the houses that we're leaving behind, but it's all the memories that we've made here. This place is our lives. But we do have to say goodbye before we get kicked out. Spencer, Spencer! Oh man, you're not gonna believe this. Greg, what's up? Look at all this money. This is the money that Billy used to buy the town. Wait, what? How did you get your hands on this? Doesn't matter. Take a look. Wait a second. These are fake. Fake Robux? So that's how he was able to get all that money so fast. Wow. All of this makes sense now. We need to go stop him because as soon as he gets the key to that city, there's no going back. Today is the big day. Billy will receive the key to the city and it will belong to him. I'm going to make some big changes in this city for the better and for the rich. All right, Billy. And where is that key? Stop the ceremony. You're a fraud. A fraud? Mr. Mayor, don't listen to this guy. That money that you used, it's fake. Wait, what fake Robux? Whoa, get off the stage. Yeah, this guy's crazy. Yeah, take the L, buddy. No, look. You're right. It's just like toilet paper with some printing on it. Billy, your bid for the city has been denied, and he will be going to jail. What? No, no, you can't be doing that. No, oh, great. I'm stuck with this city. Someone's gonna buy it. I was the second highest bidder, and I'm gonna treat the city with the respect it deserves. You're 18 now, Zach. No one ever adopted you, and you can't stay here. Get out! But I have nowhere to go, and I don't have any money. Ugh. Here, take this. It'll probably be the last dollar you'll ever see for a while. Now get lost. I can't believe you're kicking me out. I'll show you. I'm gonna turn this dollar into a billion dollars one day. I'll make something out of myself. You got a dollar? Darren? No fair. Give it to me. What the heck? That's mine. Give it back. <laughs> what are you going to do about it, loser? Stop it. If you want your stupid dollar, go get it in the sewers. Uh, no. Why did you do that? Because you suck. Your brother got adopted and you did it. Go get your dollar, baby. Can't believe you, man. Whatever. Here goes nothing. Oh, man. It stinks down here. Where is this dollar? Oh, there it is. Ah, thank goodness. 
No one believes in me, but I have to prove all of them wrong and turn this into a billion dollars. I'm gonna find my brother and we'll be a family again. I promise, Charlie. What is that noise? Oh no, the sewer's flooding. I need to get out of here. I can't get out. Oh, come on. There has to be a way. Ah. That was a close one. Hey, there you are. What? Who, me? No, the big dinosaur behind you. Yes, you. You're the guy that's been robbing this place, sneaking through the sewers. What? I was lost in the sewer. Shut up. You're under arrest. I didn't do anything. Uh, Get back here. Uh, there must be a place to hide. Stop running, you criminal. Oh, in here. I'll find you, you loser. There's nowhere to hide. I can't believe this is my life now, but I won't let this define me. I'll keep doing the right thing, and one day, I will make that billion dollars. If only mom and dad could see it. Hey, kid, hand over that dollar. What? No way. This is all I have. Yeah? Well, I got nothing, so I got nothing to lose. Give me the dollar. No, stay away from me. I'm gonna get that dollar. Uh, come on, stupid mower. Uh, I got the game in 10 minutes. Let's go. Don't work. Hey there. Uh, need a hand with that lawnmower? Uh, this piece of junk. It sucks. I think I can fix it. Uh, mind if I take a look? Uh, I don't want to mess with it anymore. It's too frustrating. I never want to cut this stupid grass ever again. Okay, calm down. What if I buy it off of you instead and just get it out of your hair? Yeah. <laughs> How much you got? I've got a dollar. This stupid piece of junk probably isn't even worth that. Sure, I'll take it. Great, thank you. You really think you're gonna get it running, huh? I don't know, maybe, but I'll give it my best shot. Would you mind paying me $50 a week to maybe cut the grass for you? Uh, you know what? Sure, kid. If you can get it running, I can sit on the couch all day and watch the game all I want. Deal. I'll be back next week and you'll see what I can do. Just one last thing, and yes, I think I got this thing to work. Oh, you stupid homeless people suck. Give me all you got right now or I'll destroy you. I have nothing. I I'm homeless. Hey, who the heck do you think you are? Get away from him, you creep. Oh, oh this guy, you're a freak. Oh, I'm out of here. Oh, you're lucky this time. Yeah, you better run. Whoa, thanks, man. I didn't know what I would have done if you didn't chase him off. With the lawnmower? Yeah, no problem, dude. You know, I've always been picked on too, and I hate seeing it happen to others. Yeah, life's been pretty tough. I've been homeless for like two years now. I just became homeless the other day, but I know things are gonna change. I'm gonna be a billionaire one day. I have to, my brother got adopted without me and I haven't seen him in five years. I wanna make enough money to find him and change our lives. That's a pretty good goal. I hope you make it. Thanks. And if you know, if all goes to plan, I might need some help with my business soon. Maybe you can help me. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. I'm Dylan, by the way. Nice to meet you, Dylan. I'm Zach. And that should do it. Ah, you know, this actually looks pretty good. Hey, now, you know, this is what I'm talking about. I never thought you could get that piece of junk running. Not too bad, kid. Thank you. I'm glad to take care of it for you. Yeah, yeah. Here's the $50 we agreed on. I gotta go make sure my game is winning. Whoa, thanks. Hey, Walter, your yard looks great for once. <laughs> yeah, right? This kid did it for me. 50 bucks. $50? Can you do my yard too? Uh, yeah, sure. I'd be happy to help, but it looks like your yard is bigger than this one. Is $100 okay? Absolutely. That's half of what I pay my landscaper now. <laughs> all right, all right. We're done here. See you next week and get off my lawn. I can't believe it. I made $150 in a day? This is awesome. If I keep this up, I'll be a billionaire in no time. Hey, yo, what the heck is this? You stealing my job, punk? No, 
this guy offered me some money to cut his lawn. Oh, no. No way. I'm the only one who cuts lawns around here. If you want to cut a lawn, you got to work for my business. That's not going to happen. Do you even know who I am? I'm Bert. From Bert. You're making a big mistake, kid. You look like a homeless freak, by the way. Shut up, dude. I have my own plans, and I'm gonna succeed on my own terms. You're gonna fail on your own terms. Mark my words, I'm gonna tell you that much. You're gonna fall flat on your stupid, ugly, poor face, and I'm gonna laugh and laugh. <laughs> no, I won't, Bert from Bert's. Watch me. Thanks for being my first employee, Dylan. I couldn't have done this without you. Yeah, of course. Thanks for giving me the chance. I can't believe how much money we've made already doing this. I know, and this is just the beginning. I'm gonna reinvest all of it in more lawnmowers, and I think we're gonna even buy a van. We have to expand the business, and this is a good step. You're the one who wants to buy the van? That's me. Okay, come on then. Uh, I'll show you around. <laughs> She's a real beauty. <laughs> This is it! Ha! $2,000 cash! You buying it or what? Does it run? Whoa, 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 slow down! Maybe! <laughs> you can find out when you buy it! <laughs> I don't have all day here though, so I'm gonna need an answer! Uh, fine. Here you go. A risk taker, huh? I like your style. Come on, dude, check it out. Let's see if it works. It runs! Let's go, Dylan. All right, Dylan. It's time to put in the hard work for the next few months. Let's make this business soar. Absolutely, I know we can do this. Now, come on. We've got some land to scape. Seriously? I'll think of a better one. You do that, dude. Now, let's get to it. Here you go. Lawn looks great. This is the best lawn I've seen in my life! Ah, this looks like garbage. Just take the money and go, okay? Gosh! Dylan, guess what? I just got the biggest lead in our business career. This contract can bring us up to $100,000 a month. With that kind of money, you can finally start searching for your brother. I hope so. It's been tough not knowing where he is or what happened to him. I always wanted to protect him. Well, you're doing the right thing, so don't blame yourself. You're working hard to create a better future for yourself and your brother. Yeah, maybe you're right. Anyway, uh, let's call it a day and get some rest. I have an important meeting tomorrow, and if I'm late, this business opportunity might slip right out from under us. Who does this guy think he is, huh? Making more money than me? Working hard? That's stupid! I was the only landscaper in town. I won't let this idiot overshadow me. No one can. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if you like this, Zach. <laughs> oh no! My van! What happened? Oh, no, 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 no. How am I going to make it to the meeting now? All right, I got to make a run for it. I can't mess this up. Oh, come on, come on, Zach. I got to get there fast. Oh, no, no, no. Look, Dustin, this guy you want to hire is a complete idiot. I'm the best lawn care provider around. I do my absolutely best. Your breath smells like Cheetos, Bert. Do you eat them all the time? Hey, hey Dustin, I made it. Uh, sorry if I'm out of breath. Something happened to my van and I just ran all the way here. Yeah, I can tell, Zach, you're sweating. Look at this loser. He doesn't even have a car. How poor is he? Uh, you know what I mean? Look, Dustin, I know I may not look the best right now, but you've seen the quality of my work. I'm the right person for this job. Just, just give me a chance, and, and I promise you won't regret it. Well, Zach, I mean, you did run up here like an absolute madman, and you don't look great. I'm gonna go with Bert. <laughs> yeah! Please, just, just give me the opportunity. I can prove it to you. I've made up my mind, and that means it's final. Now I have to go. Bert, start work immediately. Yeah, you got it, boss. Look at you now. <laughs> Poor Zach is at a commission. I'm going to enjoy that $100,000 a month while you're left with nothing. I won't let you hold me back, Bert. I'll find another way. Just watch me.
Hey, how'd the business meeting go? We didn't get the job. What? No way! Yeah, and worst of all, I'm pretty sure someone sabotaged our van. I knew something was off about that. And this sucks, Zach. It's fine. You know what we're gonna do now? No. What's the plan? We're gonna work harder. Zach, we made over a million dollars this quarter. I know. All of our hard work is paying off. Yeah, you've been working extra days and overtime. Dude, you need to take a day off. You've been working nonstop for weeks and you need a break. Maybe you're right. And you know, I think I'm going to spend this time to try to find my brother. It's been way too long. You've earned this, dude. I'll make sure everything runs smoothly here while you're gone, so you've got nothing to worry about. Thanks, Dylan. Really hope you find your brother, man. Good luck. Well, old Miss Hinkle from the orphanage said Charlie ended up moving here with his new family. I really hope I can find him. Oh, hello, welcome. How can I assist you today? Hi, uh, I'm Zach. I'm looking for information about my brother, Charlie. I heard his family moved to the city and I just need some help finding him. Oh, Charlie's family lived here for a little bit, but they moved on. Fortunately, I don't have their current location. Oh, man. Well, can you show me where they lived while they were here? I just want to make sure Charlie was in a good home. Oh, of course, Zach. I'll lead you there. So oh, this is it. This is where your brother lived when he was first adopted. Wow, it's actually pretty nice. Much better than the orphanage. Uh, I'm glad he had a decent home. All I wanted for him was to grow up safe and happy and that's exactly what he did yeah this is the safest neighborhood in town plenty of families and close by to the school too so maybe he had some friends here had a normal life that, that, that that's good thank you for showing me this mr anderson i'm sure your brother was well taken care of zach and if i hear anything about his family's location i'll let you know okay yeah of course uh thank you i appreciate your help I really hope you're doing okay out there, Charlie, wherever you are. I might not have found you yet, but I'm still looking. And I'm not going to give up on you, ever. Hello? Zach, hello, it's Dustin Morbucks. How are you? Uh, hey, Dustin, I'm doing well. Thanks. How about you? I'm great. I'm rich, after all. Listen, I have a favor to ask. Are you busy right now? Uh, no, I, I just got off a flight, but... No, you're not busy at all. Great. Could you come by the company grounds today? I think I made a mistake. Uh, uh yeah, I, I could definitely do that. Uh, I think I could be there in uh, about an hour. Is that all right? That's great. An hour works for me. I'll see you then. Looking forward to it. Yeah, uh, I'll see uh, you then. Zach, glad you can make it, my friend. And you're early. And you don't look like a complete mess. Yeah, Thanks. So, uh, what's going on, Dustin? As a fellow businessman, I've been observing the remarkable growth of your company. I truly admire the hard work you've put into it. You're doing pretty good, aren't you? Yeah, uh, thanks. I've always believed that I'll become a billionaire someday. And I have no doubt that you probably will do that, Zach. But here's the thing. I don't do this often, but I made a mistake. Choosing that idiot Bert over you? Huh, wrong move. I could have told you that. <laughs> Seriously, I apologize for that. And let me show you something. Uh, what is this? Exactly! What is this? That guy dug a massive hole on my property for no reason at all. He's been nothing but trouble. Never answers my calls. Leaves Cheeto bags around the property. I'm sick of it. I'm gonna fire him. I was wondering if uh, you'd be interested in taking over the job. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm definitely interested. However, due to the increased demands of my business, I think I'll need 200000 a month to make it work. Deal. You work hard and the quality of your service is worth it. Let's make it happen. I'll get you in contact with my assistant. She'll help you out with the details. Thank you, Dustin. This is a game changer for me and I won't let you down. If we really want to do a good job with this, we need more people, Dylan. But how are we going to find more reliable workers like us? Actually, I think it's going to be a lot easier than we think. A lot of people who used to work for Bert have been applying since he lost his contract with Mr. Morbucks. I don't think Bert was paying them fairly either, if at all. They know your business is real and it's booming. Yeah, that's perfect, but we need to make sure we don't hire any bad workers. Let's review those applications and hire the best ones we think. 
We could build a strong team and take our business to new heights. You stole my job, you slimy snake! I can't believe you! Bert, you lost that job, and honestly, you should have never had it to begin with. And you destroyed Dustin's property. I was gonna fix it, come on! Yeah, uh, you should have worked harder, man. Maybe put in some actual effort. If you did, you wouldn't have lost the job. Oh, you're talking back to me. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm Bert. And you know what? This isn't over, Zach. I'm not afraid of you, man. Just get lost. Whoa, just me or was he angrier than usual? No, that's how he usually is. Just let him be angry, Dylan. Our focus is on building our team, serving our clients, and proving that hard work and integrity pay off. Man, this place looks incredible. I sure hope Dustin is happy with it. There he is, Zach. I've got to say, great job, my friend, on what you've achieved here. The grounds actually look better than before, if that's even possible. I believe you actually have the potential to become a billionaire, not just by cutting lawns, though. You need to diversify your portfolio. Diversify? How? Well, I've been contemplating retiring and selling this place. I mean, I'm 35 years old after all. But I want you to buy it. You can start another company. One that includes owning properties and hotels, things like that. You want me to buy this place? But I don't think I have the money for that. Zach, my friend, I am incredibly wealthy. I can sell it to you for as little as, I don't know, five million? Only on one condition. You promise to expand this business and really become a billionaire. I would be honored to take on that challenge. I'm ready to make it happen. Now that's what I like to hear. Come by my office and we'll work out the details of the purchase. Together, we'll make you a billionaire in no time. Next in line, please. Welcome to Bloxy Bank. What do you want? Wow, uh, okay. Uh, I'm just coming by to check my account balance, please. All right, Mr. Zach, let me check your balance. You currently have $4 million in your account. Wow, must be nice. Only $4 million? Dang, I need five for my business investment. Uh, can I request a loan? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think you meet the criteria for a loan at the moment. Um, excuse me. Did I hear correctly? You're Zach, the owner of the impressive lawn care business? Uh, yeah, that's me. How do you know about my business? I'm a businessman myself, and I've heard great things about your success. I believe in supporting ambitious entrepreneurs, and if you're willing to make an investment for me, I can provide the additional funds you need. Thank you. Thank you so much. I promise this investment will be worthwhile. I appreciate your confidence. I'll lend you the million dollars as an investment. I believe in your potential. Wow, this is incredible. Thank you. I don't mean to be the bear of bad news, but you're blocking my line. Get lost, freaks. Uh, sorry. Look, I thank you. I promise I won't let you down. Dak, my boy, this is going to be the first of many successful investments for you. Congratulations. With this property, I think you're now worth about, what is it, uh, 50 million? What? Oh, yeah. I've had my accountants working on this for a while. You're really a wealthy man. Whoa, that's insane. Don't worry about a thing, Dustin. I'll keep expanding both businesses and make the most of this chance. I promise. This is just the beginning. I can't believe this guy thinks he's better than me. I'll show him. He's not going to have it so easy. <laughs> Dylan, can you believe it? This hotel is making us so much money. I've already paid back my loan, and with the additional properties I'm planning to buy, we're close to reaching $100 million in value. That's incredible, Zach. That's so much money. Dude, you've really turned your life around. I mean, you were homeless at first. Now look at you. Have you had any luck finding your brother? I've been really trying, but I know I can't give up. With these resources and wealth I have, I have to find him soon. <laughs> oh no, I know that laugh. What the heck are you doing, Bert? Just helping with the local landscaping, Zach. Thought I'd lend a hand, you know? Bert believes in quality service and this lawn looked like trash. You're burning my property, are you serious? Uh, you know what? Security is on their way and you'll pay for this. You're just a loser, Zach. This should be my hotel, not yours. So, what do you think, Zach? This property has immense potential. With your business mindset, I can see you turning it into something extraordinary. Do we have a deal? You know, I think we... Oh my gosh, Charlie? Wait, 
What the? Look, man, I'm not sure what kind of sales tactics you're playing here, but I don't have time for it. I'm sorry. I just think I saw my long lost brother. Yeah, still don't care. I'm prepared to give you a million off the property. Now, do we have a deal? Yeah, yeah, we have a deal. Okay, thanks again. Oh, any word? Yeah, I finally found out where my brother is. He's actually living in that area. He's going to college now. This is it, Dylan. I think I might finally see him again. That's incredible. You've been searching for him for so long. Well, when are you going to go see him? I, I don't know. Do I just show up and say, hey, I'm your long lost brother. What's up? I don't think that would work. It's been years since we've seen each other and... I just want to make up for lost time. Hey, now that you renovated that building and we're going to open that new hotel, maybe you can invite your brother and his family for the grand opening. I mean, we're going to throw a big party anyways and it can be your chance to meet everyone in a neutral setting. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. It's a perfect opportunity. I'll extend the invite and maybe they'll be there. Wow, this is a great turnout. I even think the news is here. Uh, this is cool, but... I still haven't seen Charlie yet. Maybe I should look around, take another lap, and see if he's here. Hey, so you're the millionaire brother, huh? Uh, yeah, that's me. Are you Charlie's dad? Where is he? I was hoping to see him here. Yeah, uh, Charlie couldn't make it. I just thought I'd come and meet you myself. Well, why couldn't he come? Is everything all right? Yeah, I just didn't want to see you. That's all. I don't have to explain his decisions to you. Oh, well, that kind of hurts, but I guess I understand. But, uh, hey, since you're a millionaire now, maybe you can do something for our family. What do you mean by that? Well, a million dollars would go a long way in supporting us. Maybe if you were to offer that, I can talk to Charlie for you and see if he's open to talking to you. After all... It's the least you can do. Wait, seriously? You're asking me to give you a million dollars just to have a chance of seeing my own brother again? It's up to you. But money has a way of changing people's minds. If you want that opportunity, send the money. I can't believe this. But if it's the only way to see him again, uh, fine, I'll do it. I'll send the money, anything to have a chance to reconnect with my brother. Great, great. Maybe we'll see you again someday. Who knows? I can't believe this. This is Charlie's dad? All right, gentlemen, well, we have a deal. I'll wire you 100 million to your account. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Dude, this is sick. 100 million? We're one step closer to becoming billionaires. Yeah, yeah, it's great, I guess. A little upset about Charlie, aren't you? I just, I don't understand, man. We were so close when we were younger, and I did everything I could to protect him, especially after our parents passed away, but he was adopted and I was left behind. Why would he be upset with me? It makes no sense. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's a tough situation. Maybe you should just try reaching out to him again, though. Time and communication can help a lot of things. Look, I, I don't know. I gave the family a million dollars to help them out and haven't heard anything back. You did what? You barely know these people. You gave them a million dollars? I know, I know. I just, I wanted to see Charlie, okay? I wanted to make sure he was okay. Look, maybe it was a long shot, but I had to try. I had to do something. I just think you should reach out. Thanks, Dylan. I, I think I need to take some time to clear my head or something. I'm gonna head out for a while. Yeah, take your time. We'll keep things running here and let me know if you need anything. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. I just don't get it. I worked so hard to find Charlie, to, to build all of this for both of us, and now he doesn't want to see me? I just, oh, man, I don't get it. What the, uh, Charlie? Wait, is that you? I can't believe it's you. It's really you, dude. I, I, wow, it's, it's so good to see you. It's good to see you too. Oh, I just wish we could have connected sooner. I'm about to start college in a couple weeks. I know, I've heard, and that's amazing. I'm, I'm so, so proud of you, you know? I've been searching for you everywhere. What? What do you mean? You've been looking for me? Yeah, of course I have. I saw your dad. Did he not tell you? No, my dad didn't tell me anything. I only found out about you when I saw you on the news, owning this hotel and stuff. Wait, he didn't tell you anything? I gave him money for your college and, and to help the family. He said you didn't want to see me. That's not true at all. He seriously never mentioned anything to me, Zach. I promise. You're my brother and I miss you so much, dude. Of course I wanted to see you. I've missed you too, Charlie, so much. Look, we have a 
lot to catch up on. Oh, uh, hello there. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet me? We've met before. You scammed me out of a million dollars. A million dollars? Uh, no, no, no. That, that, that's not true at all. Your brother here is a liar. I've never met this guy in my life. Dad, Zach is not lying. I know you took advantage of him. Can't believe you saw him and you didn't tell me. You know what? I'm so over this. Charlie, uh, listen, you don't know this guy. He could be a scam artist or something. I can show you the bank transfer if you want me to. I gave him the money for your college, Charlie, and he lied. I can't believe this. Wait, uh, Charlie, hold on. Hey, uh, so I could use a little extra cash if you got any, if you know what I mean. Get away from me, dude. You're a disgrace. Get off my property. Oh, come on, kid. Just come home. Your brother is a total richy, snobby jerk. Dad, Zach isn't the jerk here, okay? You are. Uh, don't be so naive, kid. Your brother isn't as great as you think he is. Oh, really? Is that why you lied to me about meeting him? I was, uh, just being cautious. I wanted to ensure you was a good guy before connecting you two, that's all. A good guy? He is my brother! Do you even know what we went through together? Before we were sent to the orphanage, we were homeless, living in a dumpster. Zach protected me. He fought for us to survive. And you question if he's a good guy? You're the one that stole from him. You suck. I didn't steal from him. I just, uh, misled him a little. Uh, look, he's rich now. Why shouldn't we get a share of his money? You're his brother, after all. Because Zach earned the money, Dad. And he worked hard for it. While you took advantage of him. I'm disgusted by you. Uh, I'm sorry, Charlie. Come back. Don't just leave me like this. Come on. Congratulations, gentlemen. We have a buyer who's willing to purchase this mansion for $600 million. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. We accept the offer. Excellent, excellent. Yeehaw. I'll tell my celebrity client about the good news. <laughs> $600 million? And you just sold a house to Officer Rufus? Dude, this is insane, Zach. I know, right? Took me a while to get used to it, too. That's a lot of money. Yeah, you could say that again. I can't believe you're almost a billionaire. Billions of dollars, dude. Well, little bro, hard work pays off. I'm happy you're starting to get a hang of all of this. Yeah, I actually like doing it. And you're a great teacher, dude. The two of us are going to make so much money. We won't even know what to do with it. I didn't think my life was going to change like this. Hard to tell back when we were homeless, you know? Yeah. Charlie, you're my little brother. It's my job to protect you and help you. We're a team, and together, we'll conquer the world. Now, let's celebrate. I'm starving. How about we take a private jet to Japan and enjoy some sushi? Dude, that sounds amazing, big bro. Yeah, let's do it. Never been to Japan before. Stupid Zack and this stupid mansion thinks he's so cool. I know he's got money in here. He has to. Ha, bingo. <laughs> Finally, my chance to make things right. Charlie turned against me, but now those idiots can make me rich. All right, let's call Dylan over and play some PS5. Yo, sounds like a plan. I'll get some snacks too. I'm starving. Wait, wait, Charlie, didn't you hear that? Oh. Sound like it was something downstairs? Let's go check it out. What the heck are you doing here? Dad? Zach! Charlie, I, I can explain! Why don't you explain how you could stoop so low? You're stealing from my brother? You manipulated us, tried to keep us apart, and now this? You're sick! I uh, thought uh, I thought I could make things right. You think stealing makes up for everything you did? You're really not who I thought you were, Dad. I'm embarrassed of you. I won't let you ruin our lives any longer. I I'm calling the cops. You know what, Zach? Do it. Call the cops and get him arrested. I don't care. Charlie, buddy, uh, hold on. Why do you treat people like this? I don't even care about how you treat me, but, but Charlie? Because you have everything. You're a rich, spoiled brat. I raised Charlie ever since he was a kid. And now you show up with all this money? I deserve some of this. That's it. I'm done calling the cops. Look at this guy, huh? This house should be mine, but no. That gets to go and make sure he makes more money than me. I hate it. I need to find a way to get his money and make it mine. But hell, probably got some security or something. I don't know. Oh, come on, Bert. Thanks. What's the best offer Bert to do to do this? Oh, stupid. This is all so stupid. Why does my dad have to be like this? Why can't we just get along? Oh, I 
hate him. Ho ho ho. I bet Zack would pay a lot of money to get his brother back if he went missing. Hey, Charlie, what's wrong? You look upset. What? Do I know you? What are you doing here? You don't know me, but you will now. Ha! Ah! <laughs> that was too easy. Dylan, the deal went through. I can't believe it. I'm officially a billionaire. You finally reached your goal. You've been working so hard for this moment. Congrats. Thanks, man. But right now, something else is on my mind. Charlie, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't heard from him in a week. It's like he completely disappeared. Yeah, that's really strange. After getting to know him, I think he'd just vanish without a reason. Yeah, I don't know, Dylan. The whole reason I pursued this success was to provide for Charlie and ensure we wouldn't have to worry anymore. But now he's gone? And I have no idea why. You've tried reaching out to him, right? I have, but nothing. I think maybe I should check our security cameras. Maybe someone picked him up or I can see which way he walked. I don't know. Well, it's worth a shot. Oh my gosh. Dylan, Charlie's been kidnapped by Bert? What? Are you serious? I thought we were done with that guy. Dude, we have to do something. Your brother could be in danger. You're right, Dylan. We need to save him. Bert won't get away with this. I told you, loser. I want your brother's money. You better steal it for me or else. What? No. I'm going to steal from my own brother just for you? You can't force me to do it either. Oh, you little punk. I thought you'd see things my way, but I guess I'll just have to find another way to get what I want. I'll get that ransom note going and your brother will pay handsome. Dude, you've had me for like a week. Now you're going to send out a thing for ransom? You suck at this. Y'all will shut up, kid. Hey, hold it right there, idiot. Bert, it's over. You're under arrest for kidnapping and extortion. What? No, no, no. It's got to be some kind of a steak. Uh, Finkleberry, boy, you know me. Come on, come on. Are you calling me stupid? This is a mistake? You're the one that kidnapped this idiot and got caught. I always told you to not get caught. You know what? Shut up. You're under arrest, Bert. No, come on. 